Hey, hey, Smoke MN, Blue Pop Scott here. We are going to do some Mexican pork. Stay tuned. As I said, Mexican pork, that's what we're up to. So what I have here is a seven pound pork butt, bone in. Let's nice get... Thank you. So before I get started here, I wanna tell you that this is inspired from Meat Church video I saw there. Um, I'm gonna do a little ad lib. I don't have the Meat Church fajita rub, but uh, I've got some fajita seasoning. We're going to give this a whirl, see how it goes. So we're going to start right out with the Cholula hot sauce. We're just going to give this baby a good douse. I'm starting with the fat cap up. I want to be generous with that sauce. Good coating. Make sure the, in my case, fajita seasoning sticks. Coat all sides nice and good. Really good at one spot. A lot of practice, green can. I know how to rub meat. Now we're gonna get after our seasoning. There you go. Nothing special, just from the grocery store. Like I said, We'll see how this one turns out. Success. Meat Church Fajita Rub will be on its way. Creating a good taste there. So now, I'm gonna let this baby sit overnight. She's gonna hit the smoker tomorrow morning and then I'll get back to you. One thing I should add though, those of you that have seen my previous posts, right? You're probably wondering, it's like, hey, Blue Pop's, Blue Pop is kinda small. You're right, no, I'm kinda. You're not the only one, Scott, wondering why uh, your stuff is kinda small. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm drinking 12 ounces. Um, it was a gift in my fridge, and I'm out of pounders. So here we are, Blue Pop Scott with the 12-ounce Blue Pop. Cheers. Pork butt has been sitting overnight in the fridge. Just threw it on the smoker. Got the smoker set at 250 degrees. I'm assuming this will be... Probably, probably about eight hours or so to get it up to 170, which is the time I'll, I'll pull it and and go through the next step with you. Let's do this. So I pulled the pork butt off. After about seven and a half hours, we're sitting at right around 170 degrees internal temp. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some more hot sauce. You'll notice that the bark doesn't look like your normal pork bark, nice and dark. It's definitely taking on a a tint of red. 
from the hot sauce. It smells amazing. If only I had smell vision I'm also going to add some more fajita seasoning. The other thing I noticed with this, fajita seasoning is very fine. So I'm going to try it this way. And I think I, I, think I previously mentioned that um, I got this recipe from Meat Church. So I, I have ordered the fajita rub. And I do plan to make it with the rub next time. But fingers are crossed that this turns out well. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of the fajita seasoning on. Beer. I'm going to drink beer. Okay. And I'm going to add butter. I've already cut these. So I'm just going to lay them on top. Like so. The final step of this, we're, we're going to braise this. So I'm going to, I'm going to dump about a half a cup. I've already pre-mixed some chicken bullion, uh, about a half cup. I'm just going to dump it in. And then I'm going to go grab the foil. Now this thing will go back on the smoker. I'm guessing approximately a couple hours, somewhere in there. The, uh, the idea is though, we want to hit an internal, internal temperature of just over 200. So um, it's not the exact degree you kind of test it with your probe slides in like butter perfect she's done so we'll check back then first off good news i'm back to pounders all right here we go we got the pork butt she's been resting about an hour now um, so that the second leg of the smoke the the brazing part was about two and a half hours I know I was I said approximately two but two and a half hours to get it to that just over 200 temp um, nice and tender so let's go ahead and pull this open this thing up Good sign right there when you see the bone. Good chunk of the bone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump juice in here into this fat separator because I wanna save what juice I can. All right, let's see what we have here. First test with the pork butt, right, is, is that bone pull right out of there. And look at that. Clean as a whistle. So now I'm just going to get after it, start shredding. It's looking good, just falling apart. I'm gonna stop right there for a second. A little bit of fajita seasoning. I 
should tell you guys that I've got green can in the house and we're going to do a little taste test here. See how it's separating there. Looks like the juice comes to the top. Should add a little bit of juice in with this. All right, green can, why don't you come on over here? Grab a. Grab hey, a everyone. Song. You, you gotta do the honors, man. You uh, you made this stuff. If you make that kind of face where it's disgusting, I know not to try it. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm a little surprised. I don't get the. Maybe need some more bark in there, but I'm not getting the hot sauce or fajita rub. And maybe it's, I, let me correct myself. I'm using fajita seasoning, so maybe it's the rub piece of it. Yeah. Um, it's juicy, very flavorful. Extremely juicy, very tender. I would agree. It doesn't have that heat that I kind of thought you might be getting with all that sauce you're putting on there. I will say, though, for using the fajita seasoning, I thought that would make it a little too salty. It's not. Yeah. Um, not salty at all. No, it's it's... That part, I think, has good flavor. Yeah. But I like heat. I like spice. And there's many ways you could probably play with that to ramp that up, too. Absolutely. And, you know, I got to I gotta keep it somewhat tame because kids don't like spice, but... Same. Yeah. So the plan with this, I'll continue to shred this up and do exactly that, add the fajita seasoning. But my plan is to use, use it on tacos, tostadas, burritos... You know, I'll package it up, freezer save it so we can pull it out in one, two pound bags. And as we go, because busy family, right? We got hockey going on, softball going on. I mean, there's all kinds of, all kinds of uh, evening activities. So you could even use this blue pop on a sandwich. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Man, that would be good. Toast up like a bun or something like that. And uh, God, we'd have to think about like maybe a pepper jack cheese. Yeah, yeah, very That good. would be really good, too. So, there we have it, Mexican pork. Um, you'll you'll see a check-in for me when I actually get the fajita rub, because I'll try this again, see if we see any difference. But uh, I would say this is a success. Don't necessarily need the fajita rub. You can just go to your grocery store and get fajita seasoning. Um, again, you don't have to worry about the hot sauce, this is not spicy by any means. It gives it a good, good flavor. I was hoping for a little more spice to it. It's not there. Good flavor, though. Yeah. So, Smoke MN, checking out. Success. Blue Pop, let's go get some refills. Why? Well, I have one, Shannon, so you're on your own. I'm not as prepared, okay? All right. Walk of shame. <laughs> Oh no! Jeez, man down. Your butt down. I did flipped you, it. Did you flip it? Yeah. I flipped it so many times I couldn't keep track. Magician. Are you? Wow, that was that's like a sign of magic. Isaac. <laughs>